The endoscopic transnasal transvenoidal approach provides a unique access to the skull base. Looking into the patient's right nasal cavity with a zero-degree endoscope, the natural ostium of a sphenoid sinus is identified and is expanded with a circular punch. The nasal septum is incised with a sickle knife in its superior and posterior part. After removing the anterior wall of the sphenoid sinus, one gains a good overview of the sphenoid sinus, the inner sphenoidal septum and also of the protrusion of the cella floor caused by the tumor. The inner sphenoidal septum down to the floor of the cella is removed using cutting instruments. After a free access to the cella floor has been created, the surgeon opens the anterior wall of the cella floor with piezo surgery, preserving the integrity of underlying structures. The tumor is then removed with diverse instruments. If the bone is too thick, piezo surgery needs to be applied. Due to precise and rapid cutting by piezo surgery, the bone flap is placed back and the original cell structure is reconstructed. This can reduce the risk of post-operative CSF leak and other complications.